welcome to modelpapers.com let us solve one problem given in your screen and this problem was asked in gate 2003 in mechanical engineering paper and this problem is from solid mechanics or strength of material section And let us see what is the problem statement here. A concentrated load of P acts on a simply supported beam of span L at a distance L by 3 from the left support. The bending moment at the point of application of the load is given by. There are four choices given below. So what we have to determine here? The bending moment at the point of application of the load P. Let us solve this problem. Draw one cantilever, uh, uh, simply supported beam here. And the load is acting L by 3 from the left support. and 2L by 3 from right support and total span is L. So here we have to find out what is the bending moment at the point of application of load P here. And let us consider a beam, simply supported beam same and load P is acting at a distance A from left support and B from right support and total length is A plus B. We know that for this type of simply support uh, supported beam problem the bending moment is nothing but P A B upon A plus B. In our case a is L by 3, B is 2L by 3 and just put, put these values in this equation you will get bending moment at the point of application P into L by 3, 2L by 3 and A plus B is nothing but L. Hence M is equal to 2P L by 9. Hence option D is correct. This is your answer. And this bending moment you have to remember. You should remember for your problem. This is the maximum bending moment acting at x equal to a or at the point of application of the load. You should remember for this type of simply supported beam. We can also drive this uh, bending moment formula. Let us drive. Consider a section xx from the left support. Let, let us name, uh, name this left support is support 1 and right support is support 2. Let this is 1 Let and this is and R1 is the reaction acting on support left support and R2 is the reaction acting on support 2. Let us consider a section somewhere here xx at a distance x from the support 1. Consider A section xx from support 1 and what is the bending moment here let's say mx which is equal to r1 into x where x is greater than equal to 0 which is the point of the support 1 this is x equal to 0 point and less than equal to a so this bending moment is valid from 0 to a 
okay and here we don't know what is the value of r1 so we can easily calculate this the value of r1 by using equilibrium equation we can write r1 plus r2 equal to p this r1 is acting upwards r2 is acting upwards and p is acting downwards just making the equilibrium okay and taking moment uh, about second we can get another equation taking moment about let's say point 2 we can get r1 into a plus b this is the moment due to r1 equal to the moment due to force p into b you will get r1 equal to pb upon a plus b similarly r2 is equal to pa upon a plus b b okay so what is the bending moment from equation this equation let's say this is equation 1 the bending moment is mx is equal to p a upon a plus b into x when x is 0 at the left support it means the point 1 mx equal to 0 and x is equal to a the bending moment is p ab upon a plus b this should be b this is r1 okay this is the bending moment at x equal to a okay and this is the similar similar equation uh, we can see this is the similar equation we has uh, we can derive this one let us suppose this x is varying from x is greater than equal to a less than a plus b consider a section xx from support first let us consider section xx somewhere here and this x varies from x equal to a and a plus b we can write the bending moment equation the bending moment due to r1 into x minus w into x minus a okay why the bending moment at this section xx is r1 into x and due to this load p p into x minus a x minus a this distance this should be p okay putting the value of uh, r1 pb into x a plus b minus p into x minus a this will give you a value p a minus p a upon a plus b into x okay and you can write this is valid for a to a plus b this bending moment hence mx when the so what is the value of mx at x equal to a which is nothing but p a b upon a plus b and what is the value of mx at x equal to a plus b is equal to 0 so you can see we are getting the same term here so hence the value of bending moment at the point of application or or at point a is nothing but pa b upon 
A plus B and this is also the maximum bending moment okay and what is the distribution we can also plot the distribution here let, let, let us plot distribution here this is your simply supported beam and this is load acting P at a distance A and this is B distance you can plot this bending moment varies like this this is the positive and bending moment which is PAB upon A plus B hence in this way you can solve these type of problem thank you